doctor but I I do want you to know that you will be getting neuro checks every half hour okay why don't I go check on Emma and give her the daddy update I'll shower change and come back okay give her a kiss for me twice okay thanks you know you gave me quite a scare you gave us all a scare but uh, this indicates that your pressure is normal and there's no bleeding. Mm. I'm still trying to figure out how I got here. Greenlee brought you in with David. David. I was with David in the park arguing and then everything just went. Black. Ryan, it's really lucky for you. The Greenlee passed by when she did. She called the ambulance. She was right by your side when you got here. So your car was tracked from Philly to the Lincoln Tunnel. So, New York. Okay, anybody care to fill me in here? Damon borrowed the car. Uh huh. Without asking, I'm assuming. You seen Colby lately? God, they're probably together, aren't they? Wait, wait. Hello? Uh, Adam, listen, I, I can't talk to you right now. I'm in the middle of something. You were? She did. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much for filling me in. So, she was supposed to meet Adam in New York, but he couldn't make it, and when he called to explain, she hung up on him, and now she won't answer the phone. Okay, let's go get him. Should have known this was gonna happen. It's not exactly the first time he's let me down. Hey, your dad would kill for you. I'm sure something really big came up. You know you want to open it, open it. Come on. I promise that I'll see you soon. Love, Dad. Look at that. Get another charm. I don't want a charm. I want my dad. Hey, I know it's not the same, but you have me. And I'm not going anywhere. Look, I know that I've let you down before, and I've made you think that I couldn't be counted on, but that's not going to happen anymore. Not now. I'm not pushing you. <laughs> Maybe I needed a push. You, 
You believed in me when nobody else did every time I got in trouble. And maybe that's why it was hard for me to buy it at first, but you like have this enormous heart and you're not afraid to just throw it out there. It scares me sometimes. I think you're amazing. I'm not saying this because you feel sorry for me. No. No, I'm saying this. I'm saying this because I love you. You're not saying this to make me feel better. I've been wanting to say this for a while now. I just didn't really know how. <sighs> Maybe it's the wrong time. No, I don't know. No, no, It's perfect. I love you, too. So, Ryan Stable, does he remember anything? He was with David, arguing. But, Jesse, it was an aneurysm. Now, this isn't something that you can pin on uh, David. Uh, I still want to talk to Ryan. What are you talking about? You're on suspension. You, you can't officially investigate. Angela, anything we can find to pin on this man Oh, is would you please just let it go? Is there something I need to know you're not telling me about Hayward? I worked on Ryan when he was brought in, and David was here. I froze. And David saw it. Now, he would love nothing better than to point out that I endangered a patient so that he could use it as grounds to fire me. You froze. You don't freeze. You never freeze. And if you did, it's because Haywood was stressing you, trying to break you, baby. Okay, Jesse, it's over. We just, we just need to move on. Move on. After what this man has done to our family, to our friends, he needs to be stopped. Well, it's not in your hands. The hell it ain't. I might not be chief of police, but I sure as hell can put an end to this. You know what? Jesse, would you just stop it, okay? Because you're starting to scare me. All right, sweetie, listen, I have to get back to work. Please, just leave this alone, okay? Please. It's good to see you. Mm. You too. Breathing, I mean, <laughs> alive, smiling even. I guess I gave everybody quite a scare. I saw you on the ground, you know, I thought you were... But you're gonna be fine, right? Everything's gonna be fine. Angie said that you're the one who called the ambulance, that I'm alive because of you. the place you haven't noticed <laughs> dealing with ADHD and getting adopted and getting myself on track it's like it's craziness it's like I'm living someone else's life 
Sometimes it's like nothing seems real. Except this. This right here. Mm -hmm. This. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. It's like as real as it gets. <laughs> Just wanna s Do you think it could be my dad? I don't know. Maybe the driver brought another present for you. Oh, you wanna have to like put a shirt on? You know, give him a show? <laughs> Maybe it's room service. Did you order it? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs>